uh, an eighty-four million dollar mistake see, is what this guy see, looks like see, right now. See, this is what y'all. You know, he looks like he looks like Lestro was right. That's what he nah, looks like. No, nah, y'all don't understand my cousin. Y'all don't understand how he works. I'm not blaming my cousin on this one. I'm blaming the Minnesota Vikings, and which hopefully they're trying to rectify it. But I blame them because they're not catering to my cousin's strength. Oh come on! No, yes, yes, yes. You like that? Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> come on. Like let me that. explain. You All like right. That. Let me explain because of anyone here, I probably scouted my favorite cousin more than the freaking Vikings. So my favorite cousin, now this is what he's. This is what he's all about. He is a pass. He's a volume quarterback. Meaning he's a you gotta pass the ball. He's a 60-40 type guy. When he was successful with the Redskins, with, with, with Shanahan with that offense, well, even with McVay, you know, and you gotta move his trajectory. Kirk Cousins is a volume passer, and you have to stay ahead of the chains. With Kirk Cousins, he does well probably in the beginning and middle half of games. So basically, when you script it, when you script your first few 15 plays, you gotta give that, you gotta incorporate more passing. Listen. You got to incorporate more passing because he is better. He, he made that $84 million based on the first quarter to the halftime, right? After that, I will admit, after that, you have to make some adjustment. But what, um, what's the difference is now, uh, um, Shermer, um, Zimmer, he's an old school. He wants to run the ball. That's the reason why John, the run. John DiFilippino got, basically got canned because Zimmer's like, run, 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 run. We need to run the ball, which is, is a friction that don't help Kurt. Kurt is a volume passer. He's not a manager. He's not a game manager because he makes mistakes in those moments. He's the type of guy that you have to get him going in the beginning of the games, you know, because he gives you useless stats at the end of the game. You know, that's when he's always comfortable. You can see that when he's passing the ball, when he's down by, by nine points with, with a minute left, he's comfortable. You know, because he's just airing it out. He's yeah, because he's out. used to losing. Dude, it's, you call it losing? It's his strength. He is. He's four and twenty-four against teams with a winning record in his career. And you know what? The crazy thing is, he makes eighty-four up. million. No, That's the not. crazy. The crazy thing is, Dude, he's four and twenty-four against winning four, teams, and he, spent, and he makes eighty-four million dollars. He spent dollars. time. He spent most of the that. We'll say entirely on that with the Redskins, right? You know what? That's fair. Hold up. That's now, entirely fair. With a team with a winning record. Oh, thank, the Redskins didn't even have a winning yeah, record. Come a, on, that, man. Yeah. All right, that's fair. <laughs> it's fair that he played for the Redskins and they were awful, so it's all going to play into that. But he's not helping his case this year either. I saw stats that says he's 0-7 in Monday Night Football. Oh, yeah, and primetime. He's, he's, no, 0-7 uh, in Monday Night Football. Yeah, it's not good. But guess what? When is the Super Bowl played? Sunday. Oh! <laughs> but his, his Super Bowl Sunday. Baby. I know, but it's played in primetime. No, it says 0-7 Monday Night Football. No. I've seen him one of Sunday night game when he played Green Bay. <laughs> I saw that. So I know for sure he won a Sunday night game before. So are they making the playoffs? Are the Vikings Absolutely, that second wild card else team? Is gonna lose. You think that they just they got yeah. they, they win? But just in? just because everybody else is that bad. Carson Wentz is about to bank it out for the season. They're, they're talking about he's basically done for the season. Uh the Redskins been done for the season. Um the Panthers Cam, he, he basically about to bank it out for the there's nobody left. By process of elimination, based on everybody else being that bad, they're the only one standing. Now, the Vikings have the Dolphins, exactly. the Lions, exactly. and the Bears exactly. uh, left. So they should they should win at least one of those games, exactly. I would think. <laughs> uh, I, I, probably the Lions game, maybe the Dolphins. Man, you, man, all right, all right. Get, that saying, vacation I don't, is over. I'm not, you like that? You like that? <laughs> no, Kirk. No, I don't. All right, so let's move on to week 15 here. Let's uh, let's do a quick preview of week 15. Uh, we... <laughs>